Having taken over from Stephen Moffat, Chibnall decided to tone down the mythology of the show, as some might suggest its focus on lore was driving new viewers away. During his first series, audiences felt that there was a less rushed pacing in some episodes, arguably due to the added five minutes of runtime, a minor distinction from past series, or perhaps due to the more standalone nature of the stories. In light of taking over, he went on to backtrack on his comments about trial in his youth as part of the DWAS, deeming the words of his 16-year-old self a load of nonsense. Having focused on a toned-down version of the show for his series 11, the following series 12 would go on to become a whirlwind of huge changes to the show's long-standing narratives, some of which had been formed by the likes of Sidney Newman and Verity Lambert themselves. These changes included changing up the Doctor's species and method of becoming a Time Lord. He reportedly plotted his era to adapt a story plan he had since he was a child. Like his predecessor, his era strove to tell diverse stories. His era notably introduced the first Muslim companion, Yasmin Khan, and Ryan Sinclair, a man with dyspraxia, which he stated had been inspired by his nephew having the condition. However, he has also received occasional criticism on the subject, due to reportedly mishandling certain elements.